Good morning guys, Diana here from Garden Love. So I've been trying to get out here the whole weekend and unfortunately it's been raining like crazy. Um, it's been my luck that during the week it's sunny and bright. However, I'm at work so I can't be in the garden. And in the weekend when I'm eager to get out here, it's raining and pouring and I really don't get an opportunity to get out here. But I have had several requests to do an update on my low quad and the emergency air layer that I did when I broke a branch uh, a few weeks ago. And I want to show you guys what's going on with that, especially considering how much rain and water we've gotten. Um, let's see if you guys can see. It's still there. The foil came off from the rain. But if you follow this branch, you will see that everything above that is still alive, which is an amazing thing. It's alive. Um, what I've been doing here and there is just coming out here and squeeze all the water from the rain from this so it doesn't get root rot just because we have had so much rain as you can see there's tons of water in there and I keep getting more and more out of there but I want it to be um, moist but not soaking wet because I don't want the branch to get root rot and as you can see um, there is let me see if you guys can see that a little better can't tell if it's getting root rot from the wetness or if that's actual roots there. Uh, so far from what I can see, I don't see any roots coming out. But the fact that the above part is still alive is giving me hope that as soon as the weather starts to warm up that we're going to get some roots out of this branch and eventually I can cut it off and pot it that would be great as far as this there was two branches that were attached to one this one doesn't seem like it's gonna make it i already took the top off of it because it was just it just looked dead but this part seems to be doing okay i was hoping to be able to see some roots but no roots yet so so far it's hanging in there guys um it's hanging in there low quads are actively growing during the winter so that's one of the reasons why i was hopeful that this air layer would work because since it's actively growing that means that things are moving along through the branches and whatever that is i'm sure there would be some sort of reaction to this air layer and hopefully grow some roots there might be some in there that we just can't see and hopefully when it starts warming up when the tree is growing even faster and more um we'll get some roots we can see that are that look promising enough for us to cut the branch off um so that's a quick update on the emergency air layer i did a few weeks ago when i accidentally broke the branch trying to train it to go up instead of down because uh because I am limited in space and there's not enough room through this pathway. So you guys can see, I wanted this area to be clear so I can walk through. But besides that, I do want to show you that after those flowers we got a couple weeks ago, um, there is some fruit that is staying on the tree. And I'm very excited about that because even if I get a handful, I would just be thrilled because I love 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 quads and there isn't any in my neighborhood from neighbors that I can try some didn't seem to make it as you guys can see right here these flowers didn't make it so it's okay this is the first year that it's flowering so I'm, I'm just excited to have flowers first of all because I was after having it for two to three years and after finding out that this was a seedling not grafted after I purchased it uh, I was ready to swap it for another one just because I'm limited in space and this is one of my favorite favorite uh, fruits to have especially to grow on your own because you cannot find this fruit in any stores because uh, shelf life is little to none as soon as you cut it the fruit starts bruising and it's really about that time to eat it just once you harvest it from the tree you have to eat it right away maybe a day or so max so as you can as you can see that really wouldn't give any growers enough time to get it to the market so that's why a lot of people aren't familiar with the way um, i mean with this fruit um most people are familiar with it because of their parents or because 
uh, they have someone who's growing it or something in that area and um i've had it because my mom used to have a tree and i loved it it's great for your digestive system and it's just wonderful my uncle also used to still drinks uh low quat tea before and after before breakfast and after dinner before bedtime and he uses it to balance his diabetes not sure what type of diabetes he has um but you know if you guys are is that something you guys um have you guys should do some research into low quat leaves that's all i know about my uncle and he's had diabetes for the last 40 years and he's still alive well and <laughs> thriving in his older age but anyways guys just a quick update i'm so excited that the sun's out um it's not raining um i'm home today yay i'm usually home on mondays so um just wanted to give you guys an update i hope you guys had an amazing weekend you guys had some fun hopefully the weather was treating you guys right and um yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>